Hello, welcome to Algebra 1. This is Lesson B. Lesson B. So if you don't have your books out already and you should take them out, turn to page 5 in your books. Page 5. Now this lesson is a review lesson. Again, we're um, reviewing for the first three segments, but because this lesson has a lot that you're going to be reviewing, we're going to split it into two parts. Two parts. I'm sure that you will be very excited to know that because we're splitting it into two parts, your homework for this particular part is only going to be 15 problems. No, 16 problems tonight, 14 problems tomorrow night. So, woo, that's exciting. Or it's 15 and 15. One of the two. Okay, anyway, so you have 14, 15, 16, somewhere around there problems, and then the next night you will be doing the rest of them. So that's exciting. You get a little bit of a vacation on the first week. Yay! Who doesn't love that? Okay, let's get started. We're starting off with a geometry review. Well, this whole lesson really is about geometry, but we're going to be reviewing some of the um, some of the figures and things that we see in geometry to start off today. So this right here is a set of intersecting lines. Intersecting lines. These lines cross over each other, and the point where they cross each other right here, we call that the point of intersection. The point of intersection. Now these uh, lines right here are called parallel lines. Parallel lines. Can you spell it like this? Parallel lines. So parallel lines run so that they will never ever ever cross each other. They are totally straight there, and so if something is parallel, it means that they're at every point of that line is equally distant from the other line. So this distance between here and here is the same as here and here. And because this is an equal distance throughout the whole line, that means they will never ever get closer to each other and end up crossing because they're at an equal distance along every point of the two lines. So that's a set of parallel lines. Now we have, these are intersecting lines again, but this is a special set of intersecting lines. I'm gonna bring the cards closer so you can see a little better. See how it has that faint square in each corner? That means that each one of these angles is a right angle, a right angle. So a pair of lines that intersects at right angles, we call those, does anyone remember? Perpendicular lines. If you remember that and said it out loud with me, great. If not, that's okay. Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at right angles. Well, what's a right angle? I'm so glad you asked. A right angle is an angle whose measure is 90 degrees. And so the legs of that angle are straight up and straight over from each other. So the measure of this angle is 90 degrees. What if an angle is smaller than 90 degrees? Do you remember what its name is? That's right. A cute angle. It's a cute little angle because it's less than 90 degrees. How about when it's greater than 90 degrees? That's right. It's an obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. Okay, so those are the beginning shapes that we have for geometry that we're going to be talking about. Just a quick review for you to remember those things. And now we're going to move on to our figures. Those are called Polygons. Polygons. They are simple, closed, planar, which means flat, geometric figures whose sides are line segments. So this shape right here, this is a polygon. It's a flat shape. That's what it means by planar. We're on page six if you want to be following along. It's a flat shape. Its sides are all line segments that are all connected, so it's closed. It's not open. Take a look at the shapes behind me on the board. Right here, these three shapes, none of them are polygon. This one here is not a polygon because it's not closed. It's flat, it's made up of line segments, but you have a space right here. So because it's not closed, it's not a polygon. This one right here, it intersects. It's lines that make it up. It is closed, it is made out of lines, but those lines intersect, so it's not a simple shape. It's not a polygon. And then this last one here, it's closed. None of its lines intersect, 
but you can see here it has a curved line. They're not straight line segments, so it's not a polygon because that line is curved. That disqualifies it from being a polygon. There are a couple different types of polygons, two main types. The first one is a convex polygon, convex. So we spell that C-O-N-V-E-X, convex. That is where all the line segments are pushed out. Nothing comes in. That's a convex polygon, no indentations. Then over here, I'm gonna come out of the screen side a little bit. No, it's all right, there I am, okay. A concave polygon is our last type. Concave polygons, they have an indentation, like a little cave into the polygon. Now it can't be curved, but if the line segments point in and make a cave, it's a concave polygon. So convex, all the sides are pushed out. Concave, you have something pushed in, okay? The corner of a polygon, is called the vertex. So the corner where your sides meet, that is your vertex. If all of your sides in a polygon are equal, you have an equilateral polygon. Equilateral polygon. If all of the angles in your polygon have the same measure, then they are equilangular. Equilangular. I didn't write those on the board because they're not really as important for you to know at this point. Okay? Let's talk about a few different shapes. The first one is, not that one, that one, a trapezoid. The first one is a trapezoid. So a trapezoid is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means it has four sides. Quad for four, lateral, the latitude, lat, refers to the sides. So it's four sides, one, two, three, four. It has four sides and exactly two of them are parallel. So this one and this one are parallel to each other. They're equidistant at every point. But this one and this one are not parallel. So a quadrilateral with two parallel sides is a trapezoid, two and only two. Okay, whoops, let's try this again. Oop. Okay, this is a parallelogram, a parallelogram. So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So it has two pairs of parallel sides. This one and this one, they will never cross. This one and this one, they will never cross. So two pairs of parallel sides.